So self-love is a state of appreciation for yourself. That you are going to take more care of yourself. You're going to put yourself first without feeling guilty. Taking care of your mind, your body and your soul. And you are not going to be second for this video. We're talking about the true essence of self-love. And how it can absolutely heal and change your life. So let's get started. So self-love means that you're taking care of your needs first. And not putting everyone else's needs ahead of you. So not sacrifice sacrificing yourself to please others now that could be in a work situation you are pleasing your boss your colleagues your teams it could be your family you are pleasing your family and doing everything for them first it could be for friends it could be for an organization your church it could be a networking organization charity organization you are putting yourself last and, and everyone else's needs first because you think that is more important than you let's see how we can shift and change that mindset before we delve into a story about how self-love can absolutely heal you from cancer let's look at the basic things first so self-love is about the way that you talk to yourself and about yourself i got example one of my yoga instructors she always says my name is xyz and so that if you want to curse me after the class for drilling you and putting and pushing you to your limit this is what my name is so she's not loving herself by saying such, such a harsh statement wouldn't you agree so my name is Tanya Sutherland, so it's all about self-discovery, your self-identity, style identity, and manifesting your goals, your ideas, your intentions, your purpose into reality. Combining my first career about fashion design and confidence workshop. If you love this kind of content, all about transformation, all about self-mastery transformation, then please don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe button down below. And of course, leave any comments down below. I would love Love to engage with you and I'm very excited to share with you that soon my evolving from lack of self-love book is coming out this has taken me literally about 40 years it is understanding and actually realizing and experiencing traumatic my own toxic journey of me almost destroying myself coming out of it understanding how important self-love is so that is coming soon the next one is my yoga kundalini and meditation clothing collection on my pdf pattern so what i've got on now is one of the meditation caftans for kundalini or for meditating i'm so excited to share that with you and of course the series of the self mastery books will be coming out just following soon so i want to share a story with you so so the book I'm reading, which is such an interesting book, I can't put it down, it's called Mind to Matter. It's written by David Church, forward by Dr. Joe Dispenza, which is all about conscious thinking, about that self-love, manifesting. It's about you stepping into your higher self. So in the book, in the 1980s, they had this lady, her name was Adeline, was diagnosed of uterus cancer which had, by the time she was diagnosed it had spread through her entire body and the doctors said that she would need to operate and go through chemotherapy as well as radiation and she took a step back and she said she decided not to go that very harsh route of such severe chemicals in her body when her chances were so low of survival, according to her doctors. Adeline decided that she's going to take a different route and step into herself and more serene solitude. So Adeline took long walks in the forest every single day in the redwoods of North California. With her long walks, she decided to take long baths and every time the water got cold, she would top it up and meditate. She would visualize, she would send love and affirmations and visualize her self-healing. And when she went for walks in the forest, she would actually look up to the sky and pretend that these beautiful stars, glittering stars, are falling all around her. And every time the point of a star actually touched one of her cancerous cells, the little cells would burst and pop, and she could actually feel and see them healing. When she was bathing, she was, well, I'm getting goose flesh. When she was bathing, she'd meditate, and she'd visualize this healing process. She decided to cut out friends that 
upset her. That didn't add value to her. She spent more time reading inspirational books. She read more self-help books. She decided that every day she'll walk a little bit further, even though her energies, her energy levels were very low. She made a conscious effort to eat the healthiest foods every day that she could. So she was conscious of her diet, her meditation, her exercise, the good sleep that she was getting, the thoughts that were going through her mind, everything was more positive. And before she knew it, she actually felt she had more energy, the most amount of energy she's ever had in her life. Nine months later, she went for her follow-up checkup. The doctors were absolutely amazed. Why? What do you think? The cancer was absolutely gone. That is all part of, oh, my goose flesh, look at this. It's about self-love, nurturing, setting boundaries, saying no. It's about prioritizing you, putting yourself first. Do you first have to have such a traumatic event in your life before you start loving, caring, and nurturing you as a beautiful human being? Think about it. Doing some self-reflection to see where are you? Are you still aligned with where you're going? Are you still happy with the way that you're doing things? Are you happy with what's happening around you? Do you need to cut out certain people? Do you have healthy boundaries that you follow and you set? Do you forgive yourself for making mistakes, for being too hard on yourself, for overjudging yourself? These are little things that you can self-reflect. It's about prioritizing where you are for yourself right now before they develop and become some really lousy habits and they become patterns of your daily thinking and daily behavior without you even being aware of it. So I'm now in my 50s and only recently have I realized the importance of self-love and how I have not loved myself, nurtured myself and my whole self-worthiness was completely lacking in my life. I thought that confidence was enough. So I am so glad that I have had this awakening to truly love myself. So on that note, it is about listening to your body. When you are busy with a goal or you are creating a new product or you're starting a new business or you're doing something for your boss, for your company, your colleagues, etc., that you are just pushing yourself endlessly to get the end of this particular project, to get to the end result, that you are not taking care of yourself in the process you're overworking no balance and then of course you're not taking breaks to stretch and to move and to do a little bit of exercise to get that blood flowing the other one is that your time is valuable how are you using your time put that phone away and stop scrolling on social media instagram and tiktok except for my videos be aware of how you are investing your time and do something for yourself do something creative start a new hobby or finish a hobby that you have started or read a book or read something that you know is going to elevate and add to the skill that you need to learn more about do you eat healthy at least 90 percent of the time every day allow yourself to have those indulges with special treats but it's about taking care of your mind your body your psychology it's about holding yourself with a higher self-esteem so it's about becoming more mindful and create new actions and habits that absolutely shift you out of habits, behaviors that don't serve you and keep you stuck and keep you stuck in the past. Meditate, do some affirmations, journal, exercise, eat healthy, be aware of the words that you're using, stop gossiping, don't listen to gossip cut out people or spend less time with people that don't serve you and add value to your life be conscious of where you are going what it is you want for your life because now you're living a life of purpose you are living a life of self-care self-esteem all starting with self-love so i'm sure after hearing this video you are going to start looking at self-love self-nurturing and self-care in a completely different light like those little stars glittering down over you that are just consciously uplifting you and shifting you and manifesting the reality of what it is in your life.